Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, today we'll be taking a look at this integral right here, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared over 2 to the x plus 1 dx. And we will call this integral i. Uh, I'm actually going to solve a generalized uh, version of this integral. Um, let's call f of t equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared over t to the x plus 1 dx. And the first thing I'd like to do is we're just going to bring x to negative x. I'm not going to be performing a substitution. It's it's easy enough to see. The, the proper substitution would be u is equal to negative x, but I'm just going to say we're bringing x to negative x. So all in all, that's going to give us the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared over t to the negative x plus 1 dx. And now I'd like to multiply the top and the bottom of this integral by t to the x. And what you'll get when you do that is this. You will just have t to the x here. And now you see that if we add these two versions of f of t together, we have this equation, that 2 f of t is equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of t to the x plus 1 times e to the negative x squared over t to the x plus 1 dx. Oh, and it should be, uh, it should be mentioned uh, for this that... Um, t is greater than 0. Uh, t greater than or equal to 0. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, because we, we do not, we don't want a negative value uh, for our t. Our integral in that case would not converge. Um, so yeah, we have 2f of t is equal to this. And you can see that this and this cancel out, meaning that 2f of t is just equal to the Gaussian integral, which is famously equal to the square root of pi, which means that our f of t is always equal to the square root of pi over 2 um, for all t greater than or equal to 0. Um, I, I thought that was interesting. Um, no matter what value of t you have there, this integral right here always evaluates to square root of pi over 2. Therefore, this integral, our original integral, is also equal to the square root of pi over 2. And we'll be using that identity in, a, in an upcoming video. Um, I decided not to show this identity in that video. Um, we'll be referring back to this video and to this identity in an upcoming problem. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.